Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. Today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my awkward corner cabinets. Chances are if you have a newer home with builder grade cabinets, um, you have one of these corner, upper corner cabinets as well as a Lazy Susan down below. And they can be awkward. Oh, just kind of a weird space to organize stuff gets lost in the sides, stuff gets lost in the back. Um, so today I thought I would show you how I have it organized to best suit our needs. Maybe give you some ideas on how you can organize yours as well to suit your needs. Okay, to start off, on the door I have here two Dollar Tree butter dishes that I just stuck here directly with some 3M command strips. Now I used to use the white um, bins from Dollar Tree that had the slits in them and then I would hook them on the bins but um, I decided to do this instead this time and it works out really well. One butter dish holds three of the small McCormick spices. Now inside on the left hand side here I have my vinegars and oils and in the back, I have a um, backup oil because I'm getting low. And in the back here, I have my taller spices on the top and my shorter spices on the bottom. Um, my taller spices don't fit on the bottom, so that is why it's like that. And this is, these two turntables or Lazy Susans are from Aldi. And this turntable or Lazy Susan is from Walmart. Now on this Lazy Susan, I have my mixes and my spices. Now on my middle shelf here, I have my tomato pastes and a Lazy Susan that I built out of two cake pans as well as some marbles in between. Um, forgive my um, bare cabinet, it is almost grocery shopping time. And I just made a huge pot of spaghetti sauce and froze it. In the back here is where I keep my canned goods. Um, I'm sorry about the lighting, but I haven't found a good solution to keeping the canned goods yet. Um, I'm planning on maybe making something out of wood, but I'm not for sure yet. Now over here on this homemade cake plate, Lazy Susan, I have all of my baking supplies. Up at the very tippy top, you will see I have this um, this Lazy Susan, yeah, I have a thing for Lazy Susans, can you tell? Um, this Lazy Susan up here, because I don't have it in use at the moment. Let's see if I can squeeze it out. And in the back, I just put up there, um, I am missing two. One is out and one is packed away, uh, cookie jars. I just keep them up there because this cabinet is impossible. I have to use a double step stool to get up there and then climb onto the counter to get to get them. <laughs> so they are up there because I only need to use those, you know, seasonally. Now for my lazy Susan, I used to use this for my baking cabinet, but every it was too heavy to have my sugars and my flours and my baking supplies down here. Um, it would weigh down the door and it would scrape. So. I decided to instead use it for my serving dishes, my mixing bowls, my measuring supplies, my stock pot, which I use often, as well as my colanders. Down here I have my baking supplies, as well as my serving bowls, and then my Pyrex dishes. And that is how I have it organized. Um, and this seems to work out perfectly for us because it's not too heavy um, and all of my mixing supplies and my um, serving bowls as well as my, um, you know, my Pyrex dishes are all in one spot, easily, easy to grab. So that, you guys, is how I have my upper corner cabinet and my Lazy Susan organized. So if um, you liked it, or I gave you any good ideas, give me a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Also, if you are already subscribed and you would like to um, um, more organizing videos, let me know what you would like to see down below in the comments. And I will, if I don't have it organized, I will organize it or come up with organization tips to get certain areas of your home organized or certain objects organized.
Um, also, what other kind of videos would you like to see from me? Um, leave the comments down below. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye-bye.